of the gap. The Chancellor informs me that you are prepared to serve as the member of the Honor Guard. I wanted to see for myself whether you are worthy. I have ties on both sides of the war, so I understand how difficult it has been for the Federation and the Empire. However, I think some things are more important than our disagreements, and fortunately, the Chancellor agrees. That's why I have been tasked with leading the fight against the Borg. We are the thin line that separates the Empire from ruination. It is our job to take on the most impossible tasks and make them possible. Special task forces aren't for everyone, but the rewards for those who can complete them are worth the effort. From what I hear, you and your ship are more than up to the task. Completing my missions won't be easy, but I and my officers will do all I can to help you. You will earn the finest weapons and armor that the Alpha Quadrant has to offer. You will be able to outfit your ship with equipment that will make you the envy of your fellow officers. Even special personnel or resources will be available to you. Good luck. You're going to need it. Do you have any questions? Right. What is the Honor Guard? The Honor Guard are high-ranking KDF officers commissioned by the Chancellor to defend the Empire against the most dire of threats. The Borg, the Undine, perhaps the Iconians. Only time will tell. Every member of the Honor Guard is a hero of the Empire. These mighty warriors will stand against anything the universe has to offer and be undefeated. I am honored to fight at their side. Do you have any questions? What is on the When the Borg reappeared, it became clear that this was a threat that would require a unified response to defeat. The Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war, but their disagreements would become meaningless if the Borg assimilated them both. I knew something had to be done. With the approval of Starfleet Command, I went to the Klingon High Council to request help fighting the Borg. They rejected me, but the Chancellor had the vision to see that I was not trying to end a war. I was trying to fight a more important one. With Starfleet's Mikos and the help of the Honor Guard, we have a chance to stop the Borg before they reach our core worlds. However, we needed a structure to coordinate the campaign against the Collective. One that isn't run by Starfleet or the Klingon Defense Force. Omega Force is that organization. Our only war is against the Collective, the Iconians or anyone else who poses a danger to the Quadrant as a whole. I lead Omega Force. I report directly to the Klingon Chancellor and the President of the Federation. We coordinate with Starfleet and the KDF, but are controlled by neither. Together, we will save both our empires. Do you have any questions? What is Mako? Military Assault Command Operations is a group of high-ranking Starfleet officers detached for special tasks to deal with major threats to the Federation. The Borg, the Undine, perhaps the Iconians. Only time will tell. From what I understand, the first Mako were used by Earth in the days before the Federation. While there have always been assault troops attached to Starfleet, such as the officers who served with distinction on AR-558 during the Dominion War. For most of Starfleet's existence, the mission of exploration has taken precedence. Exploration is still Starfleet's primary function. We are here for when that exploration brings us into contact with a challenge that diplomacy cannot answer. Do you have any questions? What is a task force operation? I have measure. Task force operations are special missions designed for teams. Most TFOs require a team of five experienced captains. A few require more. Right. 